begins, uh, we can start grading our uh, assignments. And we're assuming in this screencast that um, you've already created a sample rubric to use for grading um, and that you've already gone through the uh, add-ons menu to install Gubric, which is what's going to help attach our experimental rubric to the assignment. So Doctopus, we've just successfully ingested all of our classroom assignments from uh, the cl Google Classroom, and here they are. Now what we're going to do is attach the rubric that I've already set up, and um, I'm going to click Attach Rubric here, and that's going to work, and it's going to give me an option to um, look for my rubric, which I've created in my drive already. If you haven't created a rubric with Gubric before, uh, there's a few videos out there they are really helpful. Uh, it's really a simple process. Um, and so uh, I'm going to go ahead and select it from my drive and let it work here for a little bit. All right. And uh, <clears throat> there's my short answer rubric. It's going to give me the option as it works to attach the rubric to the assignment. And it looks like I've done it successfully. So you see uh, an example of the rubric right here. Um, and this is what it's going to look like in the student's document. And I'm going to go ahead and attach to the assignment. And that's going to work here. Um, and once it attaches to the assignment, I will let it work there. Takes a minute or two. <clears throat> What we want to think about is that stack from the spreadsheet. Um, we're going to work from there, and it looks like we're just about there. Um, this gives us an example of what it's going to look like. Um, I'm ready to go here. So, all right, it looks like my rubric is up there. Okay, there it is. Um, I can change it if I want, if I selected the wrong one. Um, if I had an, another submission in the meantime, I can look for new submissions down here. But what I'm going to do is simply um, click on the first test, uh, open it up in another tab. And I usually open up uh, five or six tests at a time. I have my stack, my virtual stack. And as it opens up the, uh, the exam, um, what's going to happen is this little eyeball up here is our Gubric or uh, what we're going to click on to run the rubric. So as I click on this, uh, the little eyeball is going to search for my oops, search for my rubric. Looking, looking. Oh, if you close out of the rubric eyeball while it's looking, it'll have to restart. Uh, not a big deal. So here's my rubric, and I can just go down the list here. I can do a three for proficient, a one, and this uh, rubric doesn't match the assignment. The assignment's already been graded. But um, it gives you a good idea of what happens. I can also put in some decimals here for half points, and it'll highlight the areas. What's nice about this is the rubric will appear directly in the document, so the, the student has an idea um, uh, of how they scored. I can put some comments in here. Uh, uh, and if I choose, I can email this to each student. Um, and what's really nice about this is once I submit, uh, I don't have to go back into my spreadsheet over here and had my documents from the classroom. Uh, Gubric will give me the option to just click on next and it's going to bring up the next assignment in my virtual stack, which is awesome. Uh, and I can just go ahead and click up here, run my rubric one more time and uh, just go straight through my assignments. Um, and what I'll do is I'll end up getting... Um, I'll get my scores pretty easily, a nice rubric that's nice and neat. The kids can see it. I can email the feedback. Um, and then the last step uh, I'd have to do is go back to my Google Classroom and input the scores or go to my gradebook. Right now, Dr. Puss doesn't have the integration uh, ability to bring the grade over from the spreadsheet into the classroom, but that's coming soon. Um, the script came from uh, Andrew Stillman. Uh, of new visions for public schools and uh, they put out some 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 pretty good stuff and if you're interested 
and learning a little bit more about uh, the Doctopus Google Classroom integration. Uh, see what they're doing on Google Plus, or uh, if this was helpful to you, or if you have any other questions, please um, uh, give me uh, uh, an email or hit me up on Google Plus, um, and I'd be glad to help if I can. Thanks for watching. I hope it uh, was helpful, and good luck.